Watch this video, and as you watch this, think about how they're treating this woman who doesn't have a mask on. That's her only crime. All that we're seeing with the pandemic is how easily it has been to get the majority of the people to act out of fear, regardless of all the facts that the numbers have been changed by fake news to make it all look much worse than it was. Doctors have been censored for proving it's better not to be locked down, for in so doing makes our immune systems even weaker and much more vulnerable to viruses. And masks cannot possibly prevent viruses from spreading at all. There's actually a lot more that I could share on this, but not in this video. It'll make it way too long. But if you want that information, please see my recent blog entries that are jam-packed with well-sourced links on all this. My point is this. All those that embrace the lies of the media are now in very large numbers. And as prophesied, they are so fearful that this woman wandering into the store without a mask is attacked by them and forced to leave the store. Yet the facts have been shown many times over that this virus is weak and it kills less people than the regular flu. Many people have even been persecuted for simply stepping out of their homes for a few moments to get fresh air by their very own neighbors calling 911 on them. And all of this was done without a single, solitary, legitimate law being passed to make any of it legal. Check this out. Now, picture how this will play out in the coming days when all they tested during this pandemic is put into action for the long prophesied reasons all this has happened. And that same woman walks into a store, but this time without a sign or let's say a button or something on her clothing, declaring she's in agreement with keeping the Pope's Sunday Sabbath holy so as to stop the current calamities while at the same time stop the same type of lockdowns we all just went through, but, but this time they use climate change as the reason so as to save the planet. This is why all this has happened the last few months. All of this was expected and even declared to happen by students of prophecy for literally decades now. Yet, next to no one believes the biblical facts because the fake news seems so much more believable because they've all been indoctrinated to believe lies. That's why Hollywood is so popular. I mean, it's they're all professional liars. That's what actors are, but everybody clamors after that. Truth is by the wayside now. Whatever is true is false, and whatever is false is true. But if you're one that's actually seeing what I'm talking about here, and you want some biblical insight information on what's coming, watch the many videos posted on this page. And yes, this is why they just started talking points for a universal Catholic Sabbath that's actually going to have its first appearance on June 4th of this year. Thank you for watching. God bless.